Mom said the basement was off limits, unless I wanted another tetanus shot. I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. I thought maybe she was hiding presents. It turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. If there's a pattern in all these stories, I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule, living for today. I always expect it to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. Even a monster on the other side of a door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. And then one day, everything just stopped. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. It's been a week now, the longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I have to leave while well, I still can. I know it's out there, somewhere. Whatever killed Barbara. And Molly. And Calvin. Maybe this is all a mistake. But I need to stop living the same day, even if it kills me. Whatever's out there, I want you to know I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. I don't mind if I only have a year left. Or a month a single week. I'd be happy with one new day. I can already imagine the sun on my face.
Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house, I can only imagine what else she was hiding. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. Hmm. Trying to bury something that's still alive. Now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two. I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself and found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse, we made it real. I don't know if I should even be writing this. <laughs>